And we're back. Hello to all you ping biddlers, biddly pings. Yeah, I'm back with more seven days to do that thing and not be killed by zombies. And now we've got another seven days to go and finally, hopefully, finish that other base. Uh, well, I'm going to need, I think, a lot more wood. Well, I'm surprised I could reach that box all the way over there. Uh, this is what? This is all the stuff from the loot, which was not good. Uh, I'm going to have to get myself a magnum soon. Yeah, I'm just going to drop off all this stuff. I might keep hold of the 9mm. Mm. Let's see. What are the stock of ammunition have I got? Yeah, I'll keep that. Right. Uh, keep them in my usual kit. Already got plenty of pills. I can just go in the box. Uh, hopefully now, having an another whole week to try and get things done. Uh, treasure map. I might actually be able to get this thing finished. <laughs> we shall see. And I do also have a new mouse. Uh, thanks to a kind present. So hopefully I can actually, you know, stop blaming everything on my mouse. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I didn't realise I had another learning elixir left to try and remember to take that down before the last horde, next horde. I'll just work on the base as as it is with the game settings as they are for now. But I will uh, prob I had a quick look at them before I loaded this game, this map. It's already set to 32 zombies, so I can't exactly raise the number of zombies anymore. I suppose I could try lowering them. <laughs> I could put them on 64 zombies, but I think that might be a bit too ridiculous. I don't know if the game would cope with it either. Uh, right, okay, hang on. Sellables. No, I'm not selling a treasure map. You can have that. You can have that and that and that. Actually, most of them could probably just be scrapped. <coughs> I doubt very much I'll ever make any use of them or whatever. Uh, you can keep all that in there. And then I'll keep hold of them though. Okay. Uh, no, let's get rid of this stuff first. Did I actually end up making a chainsaw? I don't remember. No, I might be mixing it up with the other game. Alright, we've got them. Need normal hatches as well. Five more rounds. <laughs> yeah, that's going to go for. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to be looking in and out of boxes for the next ten minutes. Uh, do I not already have bolts? Yeah, I thought I had some somewhere. And smelt the arrows. Smell all of that rot. Right. Oh, I do need more fuel. Mm, I might have to make some fuel or put some fuel on to make before we go. I haven't done any yet, no. Right, okay. You're still happily ticking away. I will definitely want more cement. Uh, well, actually. Yeah, okay. Just leave that in there for a sec. Yeah, could 
two with some brass. Might as well put all of them in. And I know I'm going to need a whole lot more steel. How much we've got so far? 324. That's not a major amount. Uh, what's it come under? I think it's this one. It's a normal vault door. Or vault hatch. Alright, 12. Four springs. Oh, yeah, 16. Alright, oh, oh, bloody now. I've got just about enough springs, I think, to, to do this one. And that's not enough mechanical parts. I need one more mechanical part. Damn. Right. Okay. That's something that will be on the list then. Just quickly reload up on all my usual stuff. Oh, I've already got five bandages. Uh, yeah, I don't exactly need to be carrying extra bandages with me. So that can be put away somewhere. Same right. Anyway, I'll sort it out when we're actually going somewhere. Oh yeah, mixed up two lines, that's terrible. Should be the ammunition first, shouldn't it? Um, yeah. <laughs> Just bear with me. <laughs> now put it on fast forward and get to the, the interesting bits quicker. I'm sure it's uh, some level of OCD. Just a little bit. So what else? Oh yeah, the 762. We we'll need to grab some more of them before we go anywhere. And I've got no other mechanical parts on me. Yeah, this was just for hoard repairs, wasn't it? Uh, I'm not going to repair this base for now. Hopefully, I won't need to. I might as well take these bits with me. Although, then again. No, leave them here for next time if I do happen to need to retreat back here yet again. Uh, I'll take that with me. I will need that, so I might as well take that with me as well. And I am making more anyway, so... I was thinking I might go and just do mining for resources to start off with, but I think I've got quite a bit of resources anyway there's already some stuff down there I'm definitely going to need more cobblestone and cement but we've got that crafting at the moment oh yeah let's put that other one in just so it's ready to go in the queue for the next time I come back What I think I'll do is just uh, gather up some more wood for now. Because I'm going to need a lot more wood for frames anyway to keep going on with the building. And then I'll just uh, actually dump that sand there. I don't need to take that with me. Right, fuel. Do I have any oil shale left? Oh, yeah, quite a bit. <coughs> 
still haven't found the stack uh, recipes. I don't want to do that many. What is it for a thousand? Because that'll give me a full stack of fuel then. put one extra in just to make sure because sometimes the timing doesn't seem to match the fuel rate for the sake of one extra bit of wood I'd rather make sure there's enough in there to do what I want um, how many will that get us another 500 ok I need to get more stone to put in there anyway Dump that in there. I don't have any gunpowder spare. Uh, yeah, let's do both of them there. Because they're both looking low anyway. After all that horde fighting I did. Uh, took my armour. Armour's okay. I didn't really take that many hits uh, during the horde. Right, that one's off. That one needs to stay on. There's only one minute left in there. Right, sacrifice some coal just to make sure it keeps going and churning out the rest of that. I won't put any more stone in it for now. I'll deal with that when I come back. I'm definitely going to be coming back again. Right, let's have them. That's uh, plenty of everything. For what I'm doing at the moment, anyway. Right. I'll go and harvest a whole load of trees and then head back down to the other base. Just because I'm pedantic. Gotta close the door before you go. Uh, I've still got 77%, that's not too bad. I was thinking I might need to refuel it soon, but it's alright for now. Uh, let's go and do this side of the road. I'll just harvest up a load of wood, carry on making frames and building the basic box of what that base is. I can't exactly install any of the other things, the traps yet, until the, the basic structure's up and ready. Uh, let's have a coffee as well, make sure the stamina keeps up with me. Watching some of the dev streams about the upcoming Alpha, the Alpha 21. And it looks like there's a lot of interesting stuff in there. But I don't... Uh, I don't trust the, the fun pimps in the sense of sometimes they... They suggest that things are going to be there and then when the Alpha actually comes out they, they announce that, oh no, it's going to be in the next Alpha. So they're just a bunch of teasies, basically. <laughs> they love teasing ideas of what they're going to be doing and then telling you that it's going to be in the next alpha, the next alpha, the next alpha. But there is uh, a few things they've done that do look interesting, could be good. Change up the gameplay a bit. Oh, can't even hit a tree. But we'll see when it arrives. Hopefully, I can get this uh, base done and recorded before they release it. I suppose I can delay the update if it comes to it so I can finish this off. like to 
to see if the the new sort of design that I've tried will actually function <coughs> against the top end of the game because it's such a even though it's not very big it's still quite an involved build when I mean, you're seeing just how many resources I've estimated like 20,000 cement and stuff like that all those vault doors now, it's a big investment which is why I want to try it on the, the higher level hordes at the end of the game it's, uh, it's no good if it can only cope with the low level stuff at the start of the game because it's too involved to build just for the early hordes Keep talking about it. I need to actually get it done. So we'll just keep chopping wood for now. Move the bike down a bit more. Whoa. This new mouse is so fast. It'll probably be me that won't be able to keep up with it now. Rather than the other way round. <laughs> The old mates always seemed to struggle to react to what I was doing. We will have the little trees. Total clearance of this area. This is probably only about half the amount I'm going to need. In here. That's what, that's 3,000. Yeah, I'll do these last few as I walk back to the bike. That'll certainly last me for the rest of this day, I think, considering it's already 2 in the afternoon. Busy fighting the horde last night. I got up late. Oh, don't land on me. Three and a half thousand. Where did I put this over there? Three kilometers or approximately three kilometers to ride. Let's get the moment to run in. Get on out there. And if this works out alright, I'll more than likely end up setting up an, uh, an entire base down there with all the workbenches and whatever. Uh, it is going to become just too much of a waste of time constantly going backwards and forwards to get basic uh, crafting done things like the cement I just realised I'm heading towards that quest point for the trader I'm not the actual base <laughs> it's near enough in the same direction. I think the trader quest was a little bit further. Uh, save some of the fuel. Just a little bit. I can't remember if I left any fuel there at the other base or not. Uh. Trying to destroy all the wood in the desert again. It's even going at slow speed. I can't drive without hitting things. It's 
see if I can get through the gap. But it will. Oh. Sometimes I can do it. Considering I'm no longer in such a rush, uh, I've just got to do it. I've been looking at it so much whenever I come past here thinking I've got to try going down that valley just to see if there's a quicker route. So might as well do it now. Could just be uh, a box canyon or something. through a bit of off-road manoeuvring so a house up there on top of the hill looks like it is Yeah, there is a little path there right on the leaf of the hill. Okay, get all the way. Yay! Yeah. Right, let's see where this brings us out. Oh, it's a little encampment. And the other base is over there, so we're not even all the way over the hills yet. the road and see where it goes. Get out of it, crazy woman. I don't think I've got this on map yet. Oh, maybe I do. Have I been down here before? I don't remember coming down here before. Where's that road going? There must be another POI in here somewhere then. <coughs> That's interesting though. It could be a, an interesting POI at the end of that road. Sort of a little bit of a shortcut, not by much though. But certainly more of a interesting biome to move through, to ride through, rather than just a flat desert and zigzagging through that town. Hello, love, do you need a lift? Oh, should have grabbed on. Oh, I should have set some frames to craft in the inventory while I was riding. I'll just do that now then, before I forget again. Going to need quite a few. Let's start with a couple of hundred. Could go and visit the trader, I suppose, and get that quest done out the way. Because it's not that far into the wasteland from my base where the trader is. Uh, it might be useful to have a, a nearby trader on the map. There's tons of lead there. Uh, being desert, we could also find shale, uh, shale gas, uh, or shale oil. 
find some coal and nitrate and iron. I know there's a few bits of iron around. I have to set up a new new bunch of mines. But it made more sense than going all the way back to the original base just to mine out green resources. Right, yeah, considering it's only 500 metres, I'll go and do that trade before it gets too late in the day. I thought I'd already been there. I'm pretty sure I've been in there. It's a trade of Jen, as far as I remember. Yeah, I've already got it marked on the map. Oh, watch it. The only thing about having a base in the wasteland is just the constant crappy weather. The environment is not exactly very pleasant to have a home in. Yeah, because I remember driving across this little bit to get on the, the loop. Show you me big stick. Yeah, I thought it was Trader Gen. I've definitely been here before because the door's open. We've got the best prices in the wasteland. Oh. Amazing! I hope you like your reward. Uh, it's alright. I'm sure we could do something better. <laughs> Let's have a quick look what you got before I go and start putting boxes on top of each other. Awesome sauce. May I've got one back at home. Oh, an anvil schematic. Uh, maybe. When did we start? Day 73. A ratchet schematic. That would be nice. I don't know if I've got any sugar butts in the bike. I might have. Against deer. Okay. Oh, went scroll too quick. Scroll too far. Uh, oh, she's got some mechanical parts. I'm going to buy just one. <laughs> just so I can make those doors when I go back again. Or hatches, I should say. Uh, always buy the eggs. Saves having to find them. I'll need them for making uh, cheesecake. Uh, there is quite a few little bits in here that you got, love, that I wouldn't mind having. Uh, let's see what's in there. Sniper volume 3. Yeah, I'm not exactly doing sniping. And a grave digger mod, that's it. Alright, okay. Yeah. Thanks for letting me take care of you. And uh, tell your friends. Oh. Well, I've got your eggs, that's all I needed. I've already got one treasure map. Where? Have I? Where is it then? Oh, it's down. Oh, yeah, when I was trying to get those multiple maps all going. I thought I'd already dug them all out. No, oh, must have got distracted trying to get the base built. Wow, <laughs> that's not much of a selection. Got a couple of days before she changes her stock, or at least one day tomorrow, day 72. Uh, so yeah, I might come back and have some of that stuff. Oh, moving too far. And no, uh, no sugar butts in there, but I do have a cheesecake. Hey, come on, chubbling with the cheesecake, but no sugar butts. <coughs> That's very silly of me. Uh, yeah, I'll leave that in there. Forgot to dump them. Bit 
tears everywhere. Oh, I'm not going to do the treasure right now. I'll save it for another day. And obviously, I've got two more maps in the bike. So I might find some interesting stuff. Maybe a, a bunch of ammo, which would be useful for down here. go and start piling the boxes up and keep working up to the <coughs> the next level and work through most of the night and hopefully that might get most of the structure done but we shall see I'll just get on with it and Get as much done as I can now. Uh, I suppose I could have brought the chuck parts with me and set them up. No worries. Right, we're going to need to make sure some of them I have yeah, concreted because otherwise you won't be able to get to them once it's set up. I can do outside walls uh, how are we doing on food and drink not that great but not that bad still be able to reach all of these. Come on. Can't even click. Click faster. Do more quicker. Is that right? Yeah. At least I hope it is. At least there'll only be wood if I need to change things. As long as I remember not to press the button too many times. I oh, hear ya. Where are ya? Oh, you managed to jump in. Well done. There's your prize. Want oh, some more? Yeah. Come on, down here. Oh, it's a little horde. Come on. Killing me that, you joking. Close range. That obviously doesn't work if you miss. Oh, hello my oh, look you pushed me up. Now I'm gonna have to fight in the pit. Made it, Nursey. No. More of yet? Oh, no. Trying to work. Right, you done? Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Some more recog. That's uh, useful extras. Uh, so, what did the damage? Well, I'll find out when I come to upgrade it, as long as there's no holes anywhere. Right, let's carry on and try and get this side done. <coughs> Basically, all just needs to be solidified anyway. So I don't exactly need. Uh, why is that over there like that? Oh. It doesn't help if I fall off. Yeah, why have you put that there? Uh, is it just. Was it double skinned there? I can't remember. As long as we've got space for the guns. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I'd left it like that. Yeah, I guess it is uh, just an extra skin there to reinforce it. <coughs> Was I just mistakenly putting it in the wrong place? Probably. Well, it's all going to be walls anyway. I might actually leave that because I thought there needs to be an electrical connection there. Yeah, I might have just misplaced them too. That's why it's worth. Taking your time rather than trying to rush to get something built in time when you've left it far too late in the game. <laughs> you end up rushing right backwards and forwards trying to get it done in time. check the acceleration on the mace because now I'm having to it, because it accelerates so quick I'm having to think about don't move the mace too far you're moving it too far right. uh, did I do, yeah I've done the corner well I'll have to have to concrete them from the outside so I won't be able to see them from the inside All right. uh, doo -doo -doo. yeah let's do these how much concrete did I bring enough level. The next level. Yep. Come up here, and then 
now turn and come down this way and be shot in the face by me. <coughs> Hopefully. Uh, okay, let's do the other wall. Because at least with these outer walls, I know I don't need to concrete anything until another time. These can all just be wood. So at least I'll have the basic structure set up then. Oh. I did it too quick. Yeah, so there's no way I would have got this done in time for day 70 because I'd left it so late. To start building it. It's, uh, obviously, of course, allowing for the fact that I've been riding backs and forwards, but this is like all I've been doing for the past several episodes. Uh, well, it's been more than that, hasn't it? Altogether, it's been multiple days of just trying to get this built. for way up which I think should be there as far as I remember because uh, that corners where I had a generator yeah so this one will be a access uh, ladder to get down into this lower level. Uh, I don't know why I'd left the gap there. Obviously, just hadn't noticed. You know, it's. Uh, Take this one out and put a floor in here. This is all to just just to make sure that this little chamber is uh, strong, reinforced. Because I don't want them to be able to break in and damage the guns that will be in here. Oh, it's stuck on that edge though. Oh, I might end up replacing all this floor at some point. Because <laughs> <coughs> it will just get annoying, keep getting stuck on edges like that. Uh, right. one. But this one needs to be more of them. Copy rotation. I doubt very much the guns will ever need to point upwards that high but just in case just make sure they got full full range of uh, inclination declination make sure they can hit any zombies if they might be climbing over the top of each other or something because the guns do try to target the head that's that's what they program to do uh, it doesn't mean they always succeed in hitting the head, but they always try to shoot at the head. Another one of those reasons why I like using the 9mm sentry guns rather than the shotguns. The shotguns are, oh, the shotguns are good for dealing with the vultures. So auto shotguns are good to have on your roof. purpose I want them for, for hopefully killing demolishers before they get uh, any further than this tunnel. Uh, they were head taller than the other zombies as well, so it should hopefully make it more likely that the guns will be able to shoot the demolishers in the head as they're walking down that tunnel. Uh, got in 
stuff to do these, yeah. Now, only 1800 already. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get about the same amount again then. So I'll have to go wood chopping again at some point. For now, hopefully, we'll have enough to at least cover this first floor in. And I'll be able to start constructing the second floor. And the second floor is pretty much the same shape. Just don't need to have the stairs in it, so it'll be a bit easier and quicker to construct. seem overkill but I would prefer it to be just a, a few extra resources consumed and then this lower level has got the basically like triple thickness wall on these sides because there'll be cabling and uh, fences and stuff going in here so I don't want the zombies bashing away at that tunnel wall just to break into this lower level area. Just makes it a bit easier to like format it as well in the sense of creating the, the shape to funnel them into the oh too far to funnel them into those tunnels. Gone. I'll just do this side as well. Gap for the access. Right, I, I heard some footsteps. Sort of the first floor done, apart from obviously it all needs to be upgraded. I'm moving too quick for you, mate. I'll have to bring that learning elixir with me next time as well for doing all of this. Because <coughs> that's quite a bit of experience worth upgrading all of this lot to concrete. Down to thirteen hundred should be just about enough to do this Back to wood. Right. Yeah, then definitely shouldn't have been there. <laughs> 
No matter. I can get them all done eventually. Uh, do all of that up from up on top. Yeah, this will be a little access so I can go down and reload the guns and repair any connections or cabling and stuff like that. It'll be similar on this floor as well. It's not always reacting. I don't think that's the nice though. The game does that sometimes. It doesn't always register that you've clicked on uh, the item. Yeah, when you're individually clicking, if you're just holding the button down, then obviously it just continues until you run out of resources. I'm trying to individually click to make sure that I don't accidentally upgrade it. tried putting round edge half half column uh, blocks there hoping that the zombies would sort of smoothly go around but they don't they, just, they stand here hitting the, the half circular blocks you know as if they're somehow blocking their path but uh, it seems better just to give them a straight edge that connects to stairs so the you know the AI will literally slide around the block like that to come up. They're gonna come over closed trapdoors, walk down here into machine gun fire. When they come to the stairs area, there'll be a trip wire here that causes the trapdoors to open for a few seconds. So in other words, a bunch of zombies can come through. But if they survive the gunfire and start to climb the stairs, the truck door will open to break up the pack that's coming in. They'll come up here with dark traps shooting them in the back. And then they'll turn around and I'll shoot them in the face. If they get this far. Some of them will, but a lot of them will be killed off by the guns and the dark traps. And then down at this end where my firing position will be there'll be the usual electric fences and dark traps going across the tunnel <coughs> so there's sort of at least three levels of damaging traps the guns and the dark traps and then there's the one extra sort of trap function of the trap doors and that's purely to break up the, the pack mobs that will gather that way I'll get them, hopefully, in little bunches, like five or six or seven at a time, something like that. Uh, okay, let's see, what should I start with next? Because we've got to do the same again on this floor, near enough. Pretty much the same pattern, because I've got to create that central tunnel and the side arms on either side to put the trap and the generators and stuff like that. So I certainly don't have enough wood to do that next phase. So I'm going to have to go and just do more chopping. I don't know if it's worth just chopping the trees down here. Uh, I don't think you get quite as much wood off these wasteland trees. Uh, no, I won't put any kind of temporary bridge in. I was just thinking of putting some blocks in just to make it easier for me to walk over but then obviously it makes it easier for the zombies to just casually stroll in to meet me. And I'm doing it again. I need to remind myself if I have the Urban Wasteland book or not. 
Oh, sorry, the urban combat book. Yes, I do. Way. Never have to worry again about landmines. Oh, it is actually the same amount of wood. Oh, cool. And I'll get the coal as extra, which can be used for fuel. Powder. That means at least I don't have to miss about riding back to the green forest zone just to get some trees. You can have a, an enjoyable stroll through the wasteland. Kill any bears we encounter along the way. Might as well check for eggs. No. Oh, we got one. Bad actually, same amount of wood from these as the normal trees. I'm a poet. I am, you know. Hey. Getting more eggs from the nest in the wasteland than I was getting in the green forest zone. So Chainsaw might have been a nice addition at this point. I know it doesn't make it super faster or that much faster, but it is at least a bit faster. When I go back again to pick up more bits and pieces and uh, what should hopefully be a stack of fuel. Looks like a, a pop bomb, is it? I think it might be. It's got a little red nipple on it, yeah. Or maybe I should just leave it, let the zombies play with it. No, it's daytime. Alright, let's just go back to the the forward base or the temporary base, the new base, whatever. I'll dump some of these bits out in the inventory. Get some more frames crafting. Uh, nothing in the bike that I need. As far as I know, we'll find out soon enough. So, what food did I leave down here? Only one hobo stew. No, that's not good. So, I've got to remember to bring. Oh, I've got them as well. Yeah, I've got to bring some more food with me. And there's a few mechanical parts here, so I've got to remember to take at least one or two back with me. Maybe I'll take three, just to even that number up. Uh, some of these other bits could go back, but it's no major importance for them at the moment. Leave the coal here as well. Don't care about tree seeds. Uh, feathers really will need to go back. Oh, it's just cat food. Could eat that now. Nice tin of cat food. That's what you call breakfast of champions. <laughs> if you're a bit crazy, that is. Uh, oh, got extra nine mil. Uh, no point keeping the beer on me. I'm saying that. That needs to go back to be used for making cheesecake. Oh, and again, that 
keep doing that. I think it's just because I'm in such a habit of just click on things to make them go in the box. <coughs> Alright, I'll leave it at that. Uh, food's okay for now. We'll set a bunch more of these crafting. I think that'll probably be hopefully enough to finish most of it. And I'll leave it at that. I'll come back in the next one. I'm going to basically carry on doing the same thing for now. Just try and get the basic structure constructed. I could upgrade most of the lower floor now. Uh, maybe I'll do it just to cobblestone. And then that way I can save the the upgrade to concrete to use with the learning elixir. And get a bit more experience out of doing it. Right, thanks for watching folks, I'll catch you in the next one, hopefully I'll have the next one done pretty soon. I'll see you again soon, catch you.